guys and welcome back to my channel. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I thought I'd go for like the messy side parting kind of look. It's not really working. For today's video I wanted to talk about some YouTubers that I have been watching. Some longer than others but I wanted to talk about them because I just think they need more recognition. Some of them have a few hundred thousand subscribers, others only have a few hundred so there's a bit of a range no one goes past 500,000 on this list actually wait no they do someone might go just over that but no one goes past a million anyway so they're all slightly smaller youtubers but I really think they deserve the recognition because I love their videos and I just wanted to share it with you and if you guys are looking for some new youtubes to watch or even if you're not just check out these people and see what you think and maybe go and subscribe because they definitely deserve that. The first two people I'm gonna mention are actually people I know. It's gone off. Now I look bald. I don't wanna look bald. This'll have to do. Now I don't like the camera angle either. The first person I wanna mention is Chloe Jade and her YouTube channel is just great. I absolutely love it. She only has a few hundred subscribers but I honestly think she deserves so much more. I love her kind of videos. She does some obviously sit down main channel videos and also does vlogs and she's done quite a bit of traveling. So seeing those vlogs from her travels is really cool and the music she uses, the way she edits them and I just think she's really great and just definitely deserves a lot more subscribers. And she's one of those people that you can just tell is so genuine. You could say that for like all the other YouTubes I'm gonna mention in this video. But yeah, she is just so lovely and I really like her videos and you can see that she works really hard on them and she definitely deserves more subscribers. So definitely one to check out. And the other person that I know and makes YouTube videos and definitely deserves more subscribers is Jessica Amy. Both of these YouTubers I have mentioned on my channels before. I've probably mentioned all of these YouTubers on my channel before. Jess's channel is amazing as well. She didn't start that long ago and she's just been doing so well like putting up so much content and just working so hard towards it and it just pays off. You can like see the hard work she puts into them and they're really enjoyable to watch and Again, she's done a few vlogs as well as main channel videos and I just find them really interesting. Yeah, I just really enjoy her videos and it surprises me that she doesn't have more subscribers than she already does. The same with Chloe as well. They definitely deserve more. I've also realised that there are quite a few Disney YouTubers on this list um, and I guess I could have made a video separate to this on my Disney YouTube channel but I have done a separate video on my Disney channel where I talked about my favourite Disney vloggers but now I have a few more favourites since I made that video and also the YouTubers that I'm going to mention in this that are Disney vloggers also make non-Disney related videos so they do weekly vlogs or just normal videos as well as the Disney stuff but some of them are more known for their Disney stuff but I thought I'd mention them on here as well because they make a mixture of things so even if you're not into Disney which scares me because some people aren't and I totally get that but still Disney is just the best thing ever in my opinion. <laughs> One of those being a Clary Tale. She has, I think she recently hit like 5,000 subscribers. I could be totally wrong but I'm pretty sure that's what she's on right now and again she's made quite a lot of Disney videos and Disney vlogs but she also does weekly vlogs which are non-Disney related. Obviously there might be Disney aspects in it because she's very into Disney so it might get mentioned or talked about in her weekly vlogs but they're not necessarily Disney vlogs so she does make a good mix and I think she is so lovely she seems like the sweetest person in the world someone you just want to be best friends with and I just love her content so much she her vlogs are really good like really good I am the sort of person that is into the very relaxed genuine kind of vlogs. I'm not necessarily into all these crazy like travel vlogs. Like I'll watch them sometimes but the ones that I am more drawn to are the sort of weekly vlogs, the chill daily vlogs. I don't know just more relaxed kind of comforting videos but I do watch a good mix of like other vlogs as well but these are the ones that I probably am more leaning towards um, and she's definitely that sort of person sort of YouTuber that you can just 
put on and just instantly feel relaxed. It's great, great videos to watch when you're sort of winding down. And yeah, I just think she's great, so lovely and again puts a lot of work into her videos and her vlogging so definitely deserves so much more recognition. The next channel is a family channel and again they are predominantly Disney vlogs but they have also started doing at home vlogs and non-Disney related vlogs but I definitely have mentioned these quite a bit recently because they have become my favourite Disney vloggers of all time and that is Hayes Family Vlog who are a family that have annual passes for Disneyland California so they are there all the time and they're always uploading vlogs from that and they are my favourite Disney vlogs I've ever seen. The way, not even just the way they're edited but that does help because the way they're edited is amazing. They obviously have a really good camera but just looks so professional and looks so good and so clear like the quality is insane. They're just the sweetest family in the whole world. Their daughter actually has alopecia and they are constantly trying to spread awareness for it and a lot of the time when they go meet characters um, Malia their daughter will give the characters a little blue wristband which is like an alopecia awareness thing and they just like to spread awareness for it and recently they did a video where they spoke about a couple of young boys or something at a park and they sort of were asking questions about Malia and asking if she would get bullied because she has no hair and stuff like this and not really thinking about what they were saying and Malia was hearing it all and it upset her quite a lot so her dad ended up deciding to shave his head for her so that he could look like her and so that she could see that he thinks she is beautiful and he wants to look like her which I watched that video and bawled my eyes out they that just sums up the sort of family they are they are so sweet and so incredible and yeah so they're the loveliest family and they also make incredible videos i really would recommend going and watching them if you're a disney fan like me you will love their disney vlogs like love them honestly incredible the reason i found them is because i am going to disneyland california this year and i wanted to find some disneyland vlogs because most of the people I watch do Disney World vlogs, which obviously I still love, but I wanted to see some California ones to get me in the mood and excited and get more used to that sort of park so I know what to expect and I can start planning what I want to do in my head. And when I typed in Disneyland California vlogs, theirs came up and I instantly fell in love and I binge watched all of them. So honestly, go and check those out. They are incredible. They're such a lovely family and they deserve so many more subscribers and so many more viewers and support. I have three more which are kind of Disney YouTubers but also do non-Disney related videos as well. I know this probably seems really annoying, you're like you're just recommending Disney YouTubers but I wanted to have a bit of a mix which I have and also some of these don't just do Disney but that's kind of how I found them through Disney. The next YouTuber is Haynes, her name is Amelia but her YouTube channel is called Haynes and she does like a mixture of things. She talks about a lot of things, whether it's Disney related, Marvel related. I know Marvel's technically Disney now. She talks about a lot of films and stuff that she likes and she's done vlogs before, not necessarily Disney, but some Disney ones. She's been to the parks a few times. She's currently uploading a series of Disneyland Paris vlogs and I just think she is so funny, like so funny. Um, just seems like someone that I'd get on with so well just obviously we have very similar interests and she's just really funny and really cool and I love her content again you can see that she works hard on it she does not have anywhere near as many subscribers as she should have she's incredible really recommend going to check her out the next one is Jess Medley and she has uploaded a few videos relate to Disney or Universal because she's worked at both of those places before. She's worked at Disney World and she's also worked at Universal. I think she's working at Universal at the moment but I could be wrong but again her non-Disney stuff is also really good and I just think she has such a positive energy and as soon as you watch her you've just got a smile on your face and she just seems really sweet and yeah I've only very recently gotten into her videos but I really enjoy them and it just surprises me that she doesn't have as many viewers and subscribers as she should have like she doesn't have as many as I thought also guys just a disclaimer I realized I didn't say this at the beginning I know it isn't all of YouTube isn't all about having all the subscribers and all the views and stuff but I just think these people that work hard deserve that sort of thing and I feel like it would be nice for them because they work so hard and their videos are great 
not saying that the most important thing is subscribers and they should still carry on regardless of if they have two subscribers or two billion. This is just me saying that they're really incredible and deserve lots of love and I really want everyone else to appreciate them as much as I do. The final Disney related, oh actually the last one technically has made Disney related videos before but isn't a Disney YouTuber so it's fine. Anyway the last sort of Disney one is Sarah Louise Porter. She, I love her, I just find her videos so great like she always uploads quite long ones and if you're not into long videos you might not necessarily like all of them but I love longer videos at the moment. I used to hate them, I used to skip straight past them, especially vlogs that were longer than like 20 minutes or even main channel videos that were longer than 20 minutes, I'd be like, no, nah, I haven't got time for that. But now if I see a vlog that's like 20 minutes or less, I'm like, damn it. <laughs> because I just love vlogs and her weekly vlogs are always really long and I love that, I love watching her weekly vlogs, I always look forward to them every week and her main channel videos, whether it's Disney related or not, a lot of it is Disney related but not all of it because some, especially in weekly vlogs it might not all be Disney related but I love her channel, I just think she's really really cool and just again a really nice relaxed sort of channel to watch and always you know calms me down just a really nice lot of videos to watch and again seems like such a lovely girl now the final youtube i had to mention is the one that i've been watching the longest out of all these people she was one of the first youtubes i ever subscribed to i've spoken to her about on twitter before she also followed me and i was featured in one of her videos before where i recreated one of her looks i'll insert a picture or a clip or something and her name is Jackie Wires and she is just amazing she has been doing mainly like makeup and hair tutorials that's like the main sort of thing she does she recreates looks from different characters from TV shows or films like she does a few Disney ones she's done Riverdale ones She's done a good mix of like loads of things. She's done prom looks as well. And she, I just love watching her makeup tutorials, the way they're filmed, they're really nice. She seems like such a sweet girl as well. And I love the way she does her makeup. And she was one of the first people that inspired me to start my own channel and get more creative with makeup looks. And yeah, I just absolutely love her. And she is the one out of all these people that has the most subscribers out of all the ones I've mentioned, but still, she's been doing it for so long and I've been watching her for so long, I'm like, why hasn't she hit a million yet? That's just all I keep thinking. I just can't believe that other people aren't seeing her as much as I am and I just really appreciate her work and just think she's so talented. So that is everyone I am gonna mention in this video. I could do a part two for this because I'm always discovering new people and I like to talk about them and I like to sort of spread the love and show my appreciation for all the smaller YouTubers. I really enjoyed filming this for you guys and I hope you enjoyed hearing about all these YouTubers. I'm gonna link all of them down below and I definitely recommend going through and checking them all out. You don't have to like sit and watch all of everyone's videos because you'd be there forever but even if you think, oh, they're probably not my sort of YouTuber, just go through and look at least at one of their videos and decide if it's for you because I really do think that everyone will enjoy these guys' videos. If you are like me and like the sort of videos that I like, you will appreciate these videos a lot and these YouTubers. So definitely go through and look through all these channels and decide if you wanna subscribe, which I'm sure you will because they're all really great. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below if you have watched any of these YouTubers before and your thoughts or any YouTubers you think I should check out myself that maybe aren't like bigger YouTubes that don't have millions of that don't have millions of subscribers. I would really love to know. I love discovering new YouTubers. So yeah, um, subscribe to this channel as well if you haven't already, along with my vlog channel and my Disney YouTube channel. Because I realise I've been slacking a little bit recently, but I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. So yeah, I'd appreciate if you could subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.